Are you implying that you expect fathers to develop breasts and nurse babies? Well, as I'm trying to read this through, as a former nursing mother, I wonder what this bill does to protect the rights of nursing mothers, what this amendment would do. The member from Ramsey, Representative Mahoney. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, Representative Khan, I'm not sure I can answer that if there's a divorce. I'm sure that a nursing mother can, I guess, pump milk and uh, send it along with the child. And then the child would uh, be fed that way. Member from Hennepin, Representative Khan. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker and Representative Mahoney, um, don't you think there's a very big difference between the emotional connection of the child to the mother, if the child is at the mother's breast, compared to the child being fed pumped milk? Representative Mahoney will yield. A member from Rams, Representative Mahoney. Well, Mr. Speaker and Representative Khan, I guess that's the same argument people have been using to be against this particular bill. And if you don't choose to vote for the bill, don't vote for the bill. But science has come a long way, and I know you really love science, and things can be changed. Member from Hennepin, Representative Khan. Are, are, you implying that, are you implying that you expect fathers to develop breasts and nurse babies? Representative Mahoney will yield. Representative Mahoney. Representative Khan. I believe fathers can be just as good. Uh, I, I believe that two parents are needed for a child. I believe a father can provide as much love and as much nurser, nurturing for a child as a mother. And I don't care if you have a prejudice against fathers in that particular way. I believe fathers and mothers can both nurture a child. I believe we all believe that emotional bonds are, p are possible in any way, but um, uh, I, I do believe that a woman who has decided to nurse the baby and do that full time, even if it requires some pumping of milk and so forth, which is, uh, can be a difficult experience for some people, uh, should be something that's considered when one is determining custody experiences. I don't think that this body wants to have all of La Leche League and all of the others um, going after them when they say they want to put artificial barriers in the way of a woman having the experience and the child having the experience of uh, breastfeeding in the first years of life. And there are many, many references, starting with Dr. Spock and going on with many others, which do say that that is a very important tie which should be realized. The member from Douglas, Representative Franson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. If Representative Kahn would yield to another question. Oh, she will yield. Representative Franson. Representative Khan, what about those women that work outside the home and, and pump while they're at work? Are you saying that their children may not have quite as much of an emotional bond to their children at that time? The member from Hennepin, Representative Khan. No, not at all. But we're looking at the, when we're looking at a joint custody arrangement, I think we're looking at a separation from a much greater time than just the period, period over lunch. The member from Douglas, Representative Franson. Okay, well, I think we all know where I stand on the, uh, this issue here, and I won't continue to talk about breastfeeding. However, I'm going to have to say that, um, that men are not second-class citizens here. And it's about time that we give men equal access to their children when it comes to divorce. Thank you.